Hey, Dr. Jill Krista here. It's morale season where I live and that means it's tick season. I'm on the trail here and somebody just found a tick embedded and was asking, what do we do? And since I'm a Lyme literate doctor, um, I started running through my mental list and they said, can you just write this down? We're not gonna remember all this. So I did. Um, someone ran to their car and I have the list. And before I hand it over to them, now that I've gotten myself all organized in my thoughts, I am going to do a quick video and then hand it over. So um, first things first, take Letum Homeopathic. That's a homeopathic remedy that helps your body expel the tick. I have a YouTube video that I'm going to do when I get back on how to do that. Um, so watch for that. And then remove with tweezers. There are lots of good videos out there. It's the best way to get a tick out. Anything else can cause the tick to regurgitate into your body. And if it's carrying Lyme disease, you don't want that to happen. If you happen to remove a tweezers and the head is still embedded, uh, check out a video that we're going to do because that's the case here. And uh, we're gonna make a poultice so we can try to get that head out and anything it may have spit into the surrounding skin. So check out that video that we'll make in a little bit. Um, then save every tick for testing. Every tick should get tested, especially if you're in an endemic area. Much easier to test a tick than test a body because we can do that one at autopsy. We can cut the tick apart and look for all the little critters and all of its little parts, um, which once you are bitten by a tick, if you get infected with anything, it could be anywhere. And the, the standard tests for Lyme disease are terrible. Standard labs, you want to use a specialty Lyme lab. And even that, Lyme is still a clinical diagnosis. So not necessarily all that good. Um, so check your incidence maps to see if you are in a Lyme endemic area. Wisconsin is a Lyme endemic area. And you see on the list, that's where things split into two. Um, so if you're in a Lyme endemic area, you call a Lyme literate doctor and get on antimicrobial prophylactic treatment right away. It'll be up to your doctor and you. There are different schools of thought, antibiotics or just herbs or what to do. You guys make that decision, but I recommend if you're in an endemic area, get on it right away because Lyme is an incredibly debilitating and difficult to treat illness, especially if it's been allowed to be there for a while before it gets treated. Um, ne next thing to do is monitor for symptoms. So non-Lyme endemic area, that's you guys over here, and there are the symptoms. You monitor for the symptoms. We're talking headache, stiff neck, feeling uh, maybe a fever, feeling fluey, achy, joint or muscle pain, and maybe a rash, but not necessarily. Um, less than 30% of people actually get the Lyme rash, and a lot of them mistake it as an allergy because it doesn't necessarily have to have that target. It just needs to be a red rash that kind of grows. That's it. Um, so if you do see symptoms, then go see a Lyme literate doctor. These are things you do while you wait for your tick test results. If you just did the bare bones tick testing, you just tested for the Borrelia bacteria, which is the thing that causes Lyme, and you got symptoms and your test came back negative, hmm, what's going on there? Um, it could be that you got co-infections or viruses or other bacteria and parasites you can get from a tick. So you, they will save that tick forever. <laughs> I don't know how long the lab saves it. Um, and then you can upgrade that testing and have them test for all the other things to see if maybe you got one of those guys. Um, my current favorite lab right now is UMass, University of Massachusetts. It's an academic lab. They send it all the data to public health so that we have a better idea what's going on in our country. And then at four to six weeks is when you get tested for Lyme disease. It takes that long for your antibodies to be formed. So um, do go into urgent care and just have the area checked in case you got any kind of bacterial infection. Um, like a staff or a strep or local, but Lyme tests won't be really useful for four to six weeks after that bite. All right, hope it's helpful. I'll snap a pic. That'll be up on my Facebook page and um, off we go to make a poultice.